This is a very depressing image. It's perhaps the darkest ending to a Tom and Jerry episode ever. And that's saying something because this cartoon had its fair share of dark themes. But the real question is, how did it get to this point where our classic duo both agree to take their own life? Well, it all started one perfectly normal morning. Tom and Jerry were great friends. I know, that's completely opposite of what you would expect, but for this story, just roll with it. And then a 5 out of 10 at best female cat walked by and Tom immediately fell in love with her because of his low standards. See, even Jerry knows she's not even that hot. That's why he tried to stop him. The only thing Tom strived for was to seek her validation. He was happier being around her, even though she was a clear attention-seeking gold digger, but this relationship, if you could call it that, was the high point of his life. That was until Butch the Cat came along and easily took her away from Tom. Despite that, Tom stayed determined to impress this white cat and reverted to the power of money to do so. The first gift Tom bought was a flower, but after arriving at her house, he discovered that Butch had already bought her a wreath, which is an arrangement of flowers shaped like a ring. After that failed, Tom's next gift to the white cat was perfume, but surprise! Butch already bought her a lifetime supply of perfume. He refused to give up though. He used all the money he had left to buy her the smallest diamond ring in history. But guess what? That was also a waste of money as Butch had already given her a diamond ring so big and shiny that you literally have to put on eye protection to witness its beauty. So at this point, any normal person would just say, screw it. She's not the one. But Tom stayed persistent. He signed his life away to buy a car. With that type of deal, he would think it would be enough to at least give him a Lamborghini. But nah, instead he got this cute little wagon. So unsurprisingly, Butch finally puts Tom out of his misery with his limousine. After that, Tom went into major depression. He became careless, started drinking, and really did not give a crap about anything anymore. Meanwhile, Butch, aka the true alpha cat, married the gold digger, and we end up back here. For Tom, that was the final straw. Jerry, while feeling helpless for his friend, gloats about how perfect his relationship is, and he also gets screwed. Tough love. And... That's the story. While yes, one of the darkest episodes, it's also one of the realest. Love hurts, and we've all been there. Whether it's a family member, a friend, or a significant other, the pain we feel when they don't return the same affection can sting pretty miserably. However, even though Tom deserves someone who is going to give him the respect he deserves, he is also in the wrong here and fails to realize he doesn't have enough love for himself. He believed his girl was all he had, and that's exactly why he couldn't have her in his life. He didn't have a purpose outside of his toxic relationship. Whether or not somebody likes us, is something that is out of our control. So why worry about seeking approval from people? Get yourself a partner who is going to love you for who you are, and not because of materialistic items such as money, cars, or jewelry. I'm no relationship coach, but if your relationship is built on money and nothing more, I'm willing to bet it is never going to last. Or even worse, it's going to be fake. True happiness comes from expression, and on the contrary, impression will ultimately lead to depression. But let's say you're like poor Tom here. You're at your lowest point. You already screwed your life over. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, and there's no way you'll ever find happiness ever again. I want you to know that if you are one of those people, you are not alone. There are thoughts properly in your head that nobody will be able to understand. I get it, but even if that's the case, 
there's still hope for you, my friend. Believe me when I say you are loved. And your life does have value. For you to realize that, I want you to understand that your current situation, whatever it is, is temporary. And you will make it out. I know you will. Life isn't fair sometimes. But I don't want you to surrender just yet. Hell, if you need somebody to talk to, send me a private message or email and I'll try my best to respond. But I also don't want you to be afraid to seek help from a professional. That's why in the description, I have provided the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That's 1-800-273-8255. I love you, and I'm rooting for you. This was made to express. Thanks for watching. This is the most creative episode of Tom and Jerry that I think I've ever seen, and honestly, I think it's my favorite because of that. I think people focus too much on the ending. I don't think the intent was to create the darkest episode ever. I think the intent was to try and express to people that romance isn't everything and I couldn't agree more. But hopefully I was able to make your day a little bit better. Please hit that like button for me if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget to express yourself and have a great one.